Welcome back to another really exciting video. Today I'm going to teach you how to create something like this. It's very simple and you can also you can learn the basics of text properties and animation and everything after that. So stay tuned. Oh, anyway, just open After Effects and create a new composition. You can write the composition name and set the height and width of your composition. Also the frame rate and duration here and press OK. Now uh, you have to, uh, this is our After Effects interface and uh, anyway, I'm going to create a one text layer and you can use a text tool and just click on the composition and write whatever you want your heading or your name anyway i'm going to uh, type one demi text lower some and also you can enable some of the windows like align windows and character window for changing text properties and everything also the paragraph window here it is i already enabled it so you can change the text properties and you can align into center of composition anyway let's start uh, so here first i will show you the basics of this text properties then only i start the tutorial if you know the after effects properties and everything you can if you are a intermediate or if you are a pro you can straightly jump into the three minutes here i will show you the basics of these properties anyway first you have to enable the stroke values from character window here i already enabled maybe you will get something like this fill color and stroke color here if you want to enable open uh, just click on the stroke and double click on the stroke and just add some color that's all so if you zoom you can see this stroke color the red color is enabled right now now uh, i will show you what are the properties available under this text and here you can see animate and there are two opacity one is this the first opacity if you enable this it will come under animator one and you can reduce the opacity see it will completely the opacity for entire layer and there are another one uh, opacity fill color and opacity see if you reducing this fill opacity it will reduce only the fill color opacity you can see the stroke is there so nothing will happen to your stroke color so these are the properties also you will get this position scale properties also you can adjust the scale and see and everything the important thing in these properties you can see you can you will get the range selector see right now we reduce the font and if you uh, adjust the start animation and the end animation from here these properties will only affects on in between this chart and end nothing will happen to the rest of the part so anyway i just deleted these properties and if you set the fill color opacity and reduce the fill into zero and range selector and if you animate the start see you can animate something like this so the thing is these properties only will affect in between this range selector this chart and end value and you can also offer, offset these values and everything so these are the basics of the properties now let's start with and let's start our tutorial i'm going to reset this character window it will be like this i just created another composition and here i just type that again i created another text uh, this is pretty easy and is more uh, useful in your workflow and align into center and just zoomed and also here what you have to do is uh, just add a same opacity or before that just add scale value I will show you another technique and also add opacity you have to select this animator one then add opacity then only it will come under everything animator one now you can increase the scale size into 125 and change the opacity into zero now you can start animate uh, start also here 100 
if you press see nothing will happen I mean the same thing only but we added one scale properties also you can see that small scale happening so you have to adjust one more thing the scale properties group aligning see right now the scale property is happening from the bottom side so make it center this alignment so you'll get some different effects you can see the difference now the anchor point is in, is on center only anyway now what we have to do is uh, we have to add another uh, properties the fill opacity so to do that go to animate fill color opacity see right now you can see animator 2 and to enable this you have to add a stroke color the same fill color for stroke also you can just double click on the stroke value or you can just add fill and stroke anyway just change the fill opacity into zero and the range selector it has to be start not from the beginning also the from beginning but end with little far away from the second keyframe now you can see the same effects with one text layer the one property uh, one text layer you can ease this keyframe to get smooth animation and yeah you can play around with this keyframe the timing and everything so this is the best method uh, to create these kind of effects because here we just we use it only one text layer that's all so it's pretty simple anyway uh, you can play around with this graph editor if you know these things and if you want to add some random effects on the same te text effects you can do one more thing uh, you have to add some one more effects so i'll show you you can add some more uh, random effects to the same text effects with uh, another fill opacity so go to our text properties and just hide this animator one and two and also go to animate and fill color add another fill opacity here uh, change the fill opacity into zero and range selector the start has to be 100 both are has to be 100 and add a keyframe at here you have to change the value into 60 or 70 whatever you want is fine and go a little forward and or you can just bring back your keyframe and make the start value into 100 see here 100 70 100 that's the keyframe now make it to 50 then back to 100 see how 100 70 100 50 100 that's a key value now go to range selector here you can see the advanced options and bottom you can you have to enable random order that's all if you play this you can you will get these kind of random effects for the same typography so the possibilities are unlimited so you can create whatever you want and play around with it so if you have any doubts please comment it below so stay tuned